DES is a salt solution that can be used for preserving nematodes. The morphology of the specimens stored in DES are very well preserved for months in room temperature, and the DNA from these specimens can be successfully extracted as well. This makes DES an excellent choice for preserving nematodes, and especially very useful if you plan to transport your nematode samples far. Let us see how you can make your own DES in this video. We will first learn how to prepare liquid EDTA of pH 8 from EDTA disodium dihydrate powder. If you have this in liquid form in your lab, you can skip the following part. Let us first prepare 0.5 molar EDTA solution. The molecular weight of EDTA disodium dihydrate is 372.24 grams per mole, meaning if you dissolve 372.24 grams of this EDTA powder in 1 liter of water, you will get 1 liter of 1 molar EDTA. So 46.53 grams of this EDTA powder in 250 ml of water will give us 0.5 molar EDTA. Now let us first weigh the required EDTA powder to make our 250 ml of 0.5 molar EDTA. Now assemble all the requirements in a fume hood and then dissolve the EDTA powder in about 150 milliliter of water. First, take your beaker on a magnetic stirrer and prepare the immersed electrode of your pH meter in the solution and bring its pH to 8 using 10 molar sodium hydroxide. As you add EDTA to water, the pH will be quite acidic. Please be very careful while handling the acid and the base as these chemicals can cause serious health hazards. Now start adding a few milliliter of 10 molar sodium hydroxide. You will see that the pH will increase immediately. EDTA will start dissolving in water from around pH 7 and as it starts dissolving the pH of the solution will drop again. But it will get stabilized at a certain point. When the pH does not drop further, add more sodium hydroxide. The pH will increase again, more EDTA will dissolve further and followed by a decrease in the pH again for some times. And again the pH stabilizes at a certain point. This process will take a while, say for about an hour or two. When you see that most of the EDTA has dissolved, be careful not to add too much sodium hydroxide and make sure you add it this time dropwise. The final pH of the solution has to be 8. Now once the required pH is achieved and all EDTA powder completely dissolved, the preparation of 0.5 molar EDTA of pH 8 will be completed by adding up to 250 milliliter marking of your volumetric flask using the pH neutral distilled water. Now as mentioned earlier, if you already have liquid EDTA in your lab, you can skip this step of dissolving EDTA powder and simply start from the next step. The next step is a simple mixing of our 250 milliliter of 0.5 molar EDTA with 100 milliliter of dimethyl sulfoxide liquid or DMSO and 150 milliliter of distilled water. This will finally result in 500 milliliter of salt solution containing 0.25 molar EDTA and 20% DMSO at pH 8. The next step is to dissolve sodium chloride in this solution. Sodium chloride should be added in intervals until no further salt is dissolving anymore in the solution. This might take a few hours, say an hour or two. Once the solution is saturated with sodium chloride, stop adding further salt and leave the solution overnight at room temperature.
The next day, decant the supernatant in a new container, leaving behind any salt at the bottom. Our desk is now ready for use. Please check out important descriptions about desks below and see you again in our next video.